Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the definition and physical significance of Gibbs free energy which is given as G. First we can see the definition. So in thermodynamics, the Gibbs free energy G is a thermodynamic potential that can be used to calculate the maximum reversible work that may be preferred by a closed system at constant temperature and pressure. In other words, the Gibbs free energy G is the maximum amount of non-expansion work that can be extracted from a thermodynamically closed system at a constant temperature and constant pressure. Now, we can derive the equation for Gibbs free energy. So, Gibbs free energy is defined as G is equals to U minus Ts plus Pv. So, where G is Gibbs free energy, U is internal energy of the system, T is temperature of the system, S is entropy of the system, P is pressure, V is volume. Now, consider this as equation number 1. So, from Helmholtz free energy, we know A is equals to U minus Ts. So, now, substituting this in the above equation, we get G is equal to A plus Pv, where G is Gibbs free energy, A is Helmholtz free energy, P is pressure and V is volume. Now, take this as equation number 2. Now, consider this as a closed system. And consider this is an initial state and mark it as G1. So in G1, the pressure is P1, volume is V1 and free energy is A1. And consider now this as the same system but in final state. So in final state, Mark this as G2. So in G2, pressure is P2, volume is V2 and Helmholtz free energy is A2. So at constant pressure, Now consider the change in G when the system passes from the final state to the initial state. That means from G2 to G1. So del, del G is equal to G2 minus G1. So, we know what is G from the above equation. So, according to that, G2 is equal to A2 plus P2 into V2 and minus G1 is A1 plus P1 into V1. So, that is equal to we can write A2 minus A1 as del A and plus the other thing P2 V2 minus P1 V1. So, now we can write P2 V2 minus P1 V1 as P del V. So, del G is equal to del A plus P del V. Take this as equation number 3. So now at constant temperature. T. 
we know at constant temperature T del A is equal to minus W M where W M is the maximum work obtainable. So substituting this in the above equation in equation number 3 we get del G is equal to minus W M plus P del B. Now taking this minus out commonly we get del G is equal to minus of W M minus P del B and take this as equation number 4. So now P del V and W M minus P del V represents the reversible work exclusive of work of expansion that can be obtained from a given change in state. The quantity W M minus P del V is referred as network. So therefore minus del G is equal to network. We know we know that G is equal to H minus T S. Take this as equation number 5. While we differentiate equation 5 we get D G is equal to D H minus T D S minus S D T. So But H is equal to U plus P V. So while differentiating this, we get D H is equal to D U plus P D V plus V D P. And T D S is equal to D U plus P D V. So substituting this in the above equation we get D G is equal to D U plus P D V plus V D P minus D U minus P D V minus S D T. So here plus du and minus du will get cancelled plus pdv and minus pdv will get cancelled. So at final we get dg is equal to vdp minus sdt. Take this as equation number 6 and this is the final equation. So at constant pressure while we differentiate the change in Gibbs free energy that is dou G with respect to dou T that uh, with respect to temperature at constant pressure we get negative entropy that is equals to minus yes. So at constant pressure while the temperature increases the value of temperature increases the value of Gibbs free energy will decrease. Next at constant temperature d t is equal to 0. So the change in Gibbs free energy with respect to pressure at constant temperature is equal to volume. 
so at constant temperature when the value of pressure get increased the value of gibbs free energy is will also get increased so that's all for this video thank you